Welcome to Yoga and Meditation with Alisa. And today we're really going to explore all the different variations for the yin yoga pose called the caterpillar. So go get your props and meet me back at the mat. Today we're going to do a deep dive focus exploration on the yin yoga archetype called the caterpillar. That's the caterpillar pose basically. And in yin yoga, we will be stretching and focusing the stretch on the hamstring muscle. That's the muscle that goes down the back of the leg. Skeletally, the focus in the hamstring um, stretch, because you have to forward bend. To get that stretch in the hamstring, it requires a forward bend. So when you do that, you can't forward bend and not impact your spine. So it will have on your skeletal system, it will also provide a stress and stretch for all the muscles and a nice rounding of the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine and the cervical spine. Caterpillar traditionally has your legs in front of you and you fold forward. Now in a Hatha yoga class, you would be encouraged if not told that you had to put both your feet together and you need to fold down and touch your toes. Not everybody can touch their toes. And that isn't the only way to feel it in your hamstrings. What we're trying to do in yin yoga, it's a functional approach to yoga, is that we want you to always ask yourself, can I feel it in the target area? What is the target area? For caterpillar, the target area is the hamstring and of course the spine. So you might be able to get a much better hamstring stretch by opening up the legs a bit. Doesn't have to be as wide as mine, could be wider than mine. But when you go down forward, as long as you're feeling it in the target area, which is the hamstring, then you're doing the posture the correct way. I'm going to show you this way so that you can see how I'm rounded here. It doesn't matter that my spine is rounded. In fact, when I round my spine, I'm getting a better stretch on my spine. So it feels good for those muscles, especially um, the ligaments and the vertebra and the discs in the spine. Now, in order to feel this in a, in a way that maybe will be stronger, you could take a bolster or a bunch of pillows and actually lay on it. When I lay on the bolster, hmm, I can really exhale and it just allows the weight of my body. I'm not needing to hold or play with my body, fight it in any way. And I'm totally feeling a deep, juicy stretch in my hamstrings. It's quite lovely. It's a symmetrical stretch, so both my legs are getting the stretch at the same time. But you can do it a different way. I don't know if you noticed, I am sitting um, on a folded blanket. And whenever I do a forward bend for my body, I tend to use that prop always because it helps my pelvis to come out of the fetal tilt. If I'm in a fetal position tilt in my pelvis because of my body, I can't really come forward that well. And just lifting my butt a little bit allows me to come forward in this bend. Lifting up to come into the bend helps too. Now, we can do this one leg at a time, and a lot of people, when they do the caterpillar stretch that way, they get a much easier way into their hamstrings than just having both legs out in front of you. So, you can do that. Let's use the right leg as our guide. If we're gonna have the right leg in front and curling, folding the left leg in, like you would a butterfly in butterfly pose. So when it's an external rotation of my left leg, my right leg is straight and then I come down over my right leg. 
And by doing this, I'm still rounded in the spine, so I'm still getting that beautiful stress, in, especially in my lumbar spine, and more on my right side because my right leg is straight than my left. But that'll switch when we go to the other side. But I'm feeling the hamstring engaged. Again, you can use your props, and you don't have to go over the leg. You can come towards the middle. And as long as you feel it in the target area, which is the hamstring, you're doing the stretch correctly. Half frog is another option here. And Susie and Paul Grilly, my teachers, have um, pulled their students in teacher's training and find that most people find this, this method of caterpillar as the best variation to stretch their hamstring and access the hamstring. So I have my my leg turned out, so I am internally rotated instead of externally in the butterfly. Now I'm internally rotated, and that seems to bring my pelvis automatically tilting forward so I can stretch over that leg much easier. I don't need a prop at this point, but if I, if I took one, it would be fine. In gymnastics, I was a gymnast when I was a young child. We called this hurdle pose. It's kind of like the hurdle when you see people in track running over the hurdles. So this posture is working on, again, the hamstring. Just for fun, I'm going to go over to the left side in the same, in the frog posture. You could try it in frog or in half butterfly. And I'm noticing that, yes, I can, I can access so much better with one leg than with two. But it feels a lot different on this side of my body than it did when my right leg was stretched out. I don't have anywhere near the capacity in my skeletal system to be able to fold. And my muscles feel a bit tighter through my back of my leg, the hamstring. And that's because every body is different and each side of our body is different as well. So you may feel it one way on the right side and completely different on the left side. And it, it doesn't really matter except for that you know that and then you can create the type of variation that works best for you. There's one more that I want to show you. And that is to do half shoelace. So if you remember, in the shoelace, we cross both the legs over each other. Well, this time we're going to keep, I'm going to cross the right leg over, and I'm going to keep the left leg straight, and then I'm going to fold forward. Now, it may appear to you that I'm really not moving that much, and I'm not. It doesn't look like I've mastered the pose, right? But, wow, this is actually the most intense hamstring stretch for me. And doing it this way, I'm really getting into the most juicy part of it. In fact, I need to let up a little. It's such an, a, a, an intense way for me to be in this posture. So what it looks like and what it feels like are two different things. And that's the beauty of this type of yoga, of the functional approach to yoga called yin yoga, the yin yoga method. So today we did a deep dive into the caterpillar archetype and that stretches the hamstring and it also stresses the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine and the cervical spine. We did caterpillar which was straight legs in front. We also did half caterpillar where you had half butterfly or half frog and then we did half shoelace. So explore, have fun, try them all out, notice the difference from right side to left side, and the next time you're in a yin yoga class that asks for you to stretch your hamstring or for you to do caterpillar, you now have a library of variations that you can choose from. Every body is different, so trust your body, know your body. Thank you for joining. Namaste.